Welcome to season three of the Seeking Success podcast. Welcome back, guys. For the first time ever, you are now seeing us in 4K. So no one really knows this, but during my trip, my car got broken into and I lost about $3.5,000 worth of equipment and right. gear. There's a couple fucking London TikTokers. You guys are goof bitches. Should I call them out? Call them out, bro. Name drop. So this is where things are kind of a little freaky. I see it. So I woke up one day in London. Tell me how I wake up one day and my whole face is red and this is bare dried up blood. Welcome to season three of the Seeking Success podcast. Welcome back, guys. For the first time ever, you are now seeing us in 4K. 4K quality. So now you're going to see all of our pimples, all of our bruises, hickeys, everything. Zoom it in. We're, we're in. getting very, very clear, ah. right? Um, but holy shit, it's been a while since we actually recorded an episode. We've been gone from the studio for one and a half months. Yeah, a month and a half so far. But uh, we were still posting content, so posting episodes, shorts, and shorts everything. Shorts and everything. Shout out to all the people that are showing us support. Um, but where did, we, where did we go, bro? Why, why did we Man, take a one and a half month It's been month crazy. Break? So yeah, backstory. You guys haven't noticed, we've been gone for about a month and a half. It's because we're basically traveling the world. It's a little bit of divide and conquer. Radice went out to uh, take over the, the royal lands of the United <laughs> Kingdom and Europe. And then I went to the Caribbean. Wow. Uh, Look at just that. Just taking over. Yeah. So I feel like, how long were you gone for? I was gone for about two and a half, two, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even like take that in. I know. It didn't feel like you were like, I mean, shit. It felt, it felt quick. Damn. I was gone for th three, three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, three yeah. weeks. And bro, like, well, at what point in your trip did you feel like, yeah, okay, I need to go home now? Bro, honestly, I feel like it wasn't long enough. I was thinking about it was two weeks. Really? It was two weeks. We were on the road a couple of days. We drove from Toronto to Orlando. Okay. That alone is like a 20-hour drive. We'd stop in Charlotte along the way. And then we did the fucking cruise. Stayed in Orlando for a day. Did Disney and shit. And then drove back. And again, stopped in Charlotte. Mm. And drove back home. So I feel like, bro, it was Damn. just constant go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah. Everything was, was on the move. But I like that, man. It's something about traveling where it just makes you <laughs> fucking more creative. And bro, you just have like crackhead energy the whole yeah, time. Yeah, So like, bro, it was funny. So at the start of my trip, I think I went... Uh, 36 hours without sleeping. I didn't sleep on the plane. Yeah. And literally, but like, I didn't feel like I hadn't slept that long. But it was like, you get off the plane. Like, you know that feeling in the airport where like, you're just like, damn, like, why does it like, when you're in the airport, you just feel like a main character or something. Bro. Uh, like, you just yes, feel godly. But, uh, <laughs> I also, something when I'm in the airport, I just want to get the fuck out, bro. Like. Certain airports though. Yeah, yeah, like true. when you're in Pearson, Lord Jesus Christ. Fuck. Terrible. Bro, the worst was during the pandemic and then they do those fucking swab tests. You had to wait in line for like a fucking hour. Just to get your nose raped. Just to get your nose. And bro, the worst part is one time we were in, I swear to God, maybe an hour and a half to two hours in line for the swab test. You get to the front of the line, they didn't even swab test you. They give you a little box. Like, yeah, go home, test oh. it and ship it out. Like you can't leave your house for two days. I'm like, all right, buddy, sure. Damn. Who's going to come check? But I stayed home. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah, yeah it makes sense. sense. Imagine, like, imagine being so crazy, like, you got a positive test and you actually fly out, too. Like, that'd be insane. That'd be fucking like, if nuts. anyone ever done that, bro, fuck. That'd be fucking nuts. <laughs> but, okay, well, let's talk about it. Because, yo, there's actually some crazy shit that happened. So, I went to Switzerland, Germany, Italy, and London. Um, and, bro, that was my second time going to London, my third time going to Switzerland. And, bro, I have to say, I, I don't know which country I prefer the most, but Switzerland is just so beautiful, man. Yeah, hey, like, bro, some of the snaps are Fucking it crazy. never gets old, bro. It never gets old. Like, I hope you guys are following us on Instagram because we we're both posting That's our trips and stuff. Stories. But um, bro, I guess maybe we'll go through like our we'll take turns and we'll go through like our yeah, highlights yeah. of like our trip and shit like that. So start with the itinerary. Like, wh where'd you start off? Where'd you go? Kind of thing. So we flew to Switzerland. Then okay. we drove like an hour and a half to Germany okay. to pick up a car. So okay, the economics in yeah. So I'll explain I this. Mean, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll explain this. I'll explain. This. Okay, so the economics in Switzerland are insane. So okay. there's crazy arbitrage to be made. So Switzerland is like basically double the price, the cost of living, okay. but not like in Toronto where like people are poor and we can't afford shit. Their wages also doubled. Oh, sick. So for whatever reason, they just make a lot more money and spend a lot more money. Crazy. But here's the crazy part. So if you live in Germany, you can live in Germany for half the cost of living, but work, work in, in Switzerland, Switzerland and make double. basically double. Wow. So there's some people that actually do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that like spread is insane. Bro, but you know what's crazy? While I was on the cruise, I met someone from the UK and they're talking about, like, for example, in the GTA, we're used to driving an hour, go Mississauga, oh, yeah, go yeah, fucking yeah. Brampton, whatever, hour drive. But they don't drive that much there. No, not at so all. So for them, that's a stretch. So to drive a fucking hour and a half to Germany, to Switzerland, for yeah, them, yeah, they're, like, yeah. they're losing their mind. But for yeah, us, that's yeah. like fucking almost a normal commute, man. And, and they have like uh, charges as well. Like I, th I forgot, I think congestion charges or something to drive like on their highways in okay, the like UK. Okay, like a toll. Some, some bullshit. Okay. It's, like, it's like some bullshit. But yeah, they have that. So 
um, in Switzerland, we drove to Germany because renting a car from Germany It'll is significantly price, cheaper. Yeah. Exactly. So we got we got the car. Uh, we got an Audi Q5, you know, a little, little luxury, a little luxury, geez. right? Uh, so we picked up that car and we went straight to uh, Milan. So okay. Milano in Italy it was about a four hour drive ish. Okay. Um, we went there. We basically just went straight to our uh, B and B, and obviously in Milan they have like that huge cathedral. Um, it, there's not much to do in Milan. I'm not gonna lie. Really? There's not much. Um, sightseeing and stuff. Like Enjoy you could you could do it in a day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like okay. a lot of the times people will say when you're in Milan, take a train and get out of Milan. Oh, they don't even stay there. <laughs> like they, yeah, like they don't they don't really like be there often. So we were in Milan for a day, bro. The thing I love about Switzerland and Italy and just Europe is how convenient it is to get like quick food One, oh, oh yeah yeah they got like, fast food bro like you go to a gas station and you're getting like fucking like there's like bakeries and shit in the gas station really like there's some gas stations that have like supermarkets inside them type shit and i know like, like in the u.s sure like, sure because it got what's that what's that famous one that grocery store that's wawa i don't know what that is it's like a, it's like a like like 7-eleven but oh, like Wuwa. Every, not Wuwa. <laughs> shout out to Wuwa, but no not Wuwa. it's like a little gas station yeah. every gas station is like a superstore Word, yeah. So it, that's one thing I loved. And bro, I'm not gonna lie, I had so many of those like um, you know those like Starbucks like freaking go to like you just grab and go drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have like oh, their own yeah, version. Yeah, they have yeah. the Starbucks brought so many of those. Um the Nutella croissants. Okay. Because it, it's Italy, right? You're getting yeah, Nutella yeah, yeah. this, Nutella that, you know, like whatever. Uh fucking that was insane. And bro, you know how like we have pasta here and it's like, yeah, you know, pasta, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Bro. It's good there. It hits different. Yeah. It actually hits different. It actually hits different. Crazy. Like yo. I so my mom grew up in Italy, so like my mom makes a lot of pasta dishes yeah, yeah. and stuff. I'm like sick and tired of her pasta. Like I don't even like like pasta like that anymore. But bro, when I was over there, bro, I was eating straight pasta. Bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the seafood pastas too, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like they. <sighs> fuck hell, my I have to, goes I have to for book, the food. Yeah, I have to book a flight now, bro. bro. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm fat as fuck, bro. When someone talks about the trip and they're talking about the food, my mind's just I'm like, yo, like my sister just got back from Dubai and she's talking about the food. I'm like, fuck, I want to go there just to fucking eat. <laughs> I like food, man. <laughs> God. Gosh, no, that's jokes. And then what did we do? So after um, after Milan, we drove four hours to go to Pisa, uh, and or sorry, not Pisa, Venice. Okay, okay. Venice. Um, and bro, here's the thing about the the highways in Italy. So they're all tolls, so you have to pay no matter what. It's like pay pay in, pay out, right? W which is fine, whatever. But bro, Canadians do not know how to drive. We have a passing lane where you're supposed to drive fast. You're not yeah, supposed yeah, to freaking yeah. drive a hundred on the passing lane, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. In Italy, buddy, if you're fucking driving slow, they're high beaming the fuck out of you, yeah, honking the horn. Sure. And if you are driving in the uh, passing lane, people will move out. They, they don't, they don't like be stupid and just stay driving there. They will instantly they move. 100%. It's like when we first like got on the highway, we were like, bro, like why is everyone pushing like 140, 150? We we're so confused. But on the passing lane, that's so normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bro, no traffic. Sick. No freaking accidents. Sick. Everyone just drives. Sick. Like, you know, you see those memes where like, why is there traffic? Just keep driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they do that. They, they do just that. drive. They don't they don't think about it. They just go. Fair. So we go to Venice. Um, when we first got to Venice. I did a little solo uh, trek to like the actual like Venezia. So it's funny. You know how we call it Venice? It's actually called Venezia. Okay. And we call it Milan, but it's Milano. Milano. <laughs> but I, we just, I heard that one before. I like I don't know why we we just decided to call it our own shit. Fucking but um, washing everything. Yeah, literally just ruining everything. Like. What's what's tea? Chai tea, like no, it's tea, like. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we went to Venice. Um, bro, it's pretty. It's, it's actually very beautiful there. And Venice is like one of those places where, it's apparently sinking in a couple of years. So apparently, like twenty something years, it's gonna I fully sink. But yo, I think that's just bravado. I think that's cap too. Yeah. I think it's cap. So you can actually buy property in Venice. I went to the real estate booth that they had there. You can buy real estate there, like a house there for like two hundred k euros, which is I think about like four ish, like three fifty ish oh. Canadian. I could be a bit wrong. What's what? one? What's one dollar? Ah, one fucking yeah, you sure. tell me, bro. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I spent four different currencies last fair, month. I couldn't fair, tell fair. you. W. <laughs> but yeah, Venice was sick, bro. It's very nice. It's very um, like it's picturesque. But again, like there's not much to do. And like when we were in Venice, we obviously walked around like the canals and whatever. But we also took like ferries to go to other islands. Um, and those ferries were like an hour long, bro. The, it was very hot, man. Sick. Stupid hot. Like we're talking like thirty-five degrees, Craziness. and it's like, bro, like, I got dark, fam. Yeah, yeah. I got dark, and yeah, it was not, it was, it was whatever. But yeah, and then I guess I'll wrap up Italy, and then we'll we'll do yours. Uh, after that, we went to Rome. We spent two nights in Rome, bro. Rome is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like the architecture is just so beautiful. There's like all these churches. Everything's just nice. Um, and one thing in Rome is, 
like you know the fountain, like the Trevi fountain, where like have you ever seen those memes where it's like, like oh, you gotta go there at like four a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are capping, bro. Yeah. You go there anytime and you can get a picture like just by yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like people are just, I don't know. Like you just walk to the front. Uh, like no, no one's stopping you. Just go. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> just go get a picture. So we did that. That was pretty fun. Um, I have a lot of pictures in Rome, and then this is where uh, story time. <sighs> things get a little crazy. So you for context, stole your heart, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so no one really knows this, but during my trip, my car got broken into, and I lost about three point five thousand dollars worth of equipment and horrible. gear. Horrible. Um, as a total, with like everyone in the car, I think we lost about five k ish worth of stuff. Um, so it was terrible. Uh, Wait, I got a question before you go into the story, because mm. obviously your car got jacked. Why was your stuff in the car? Why didn't you leave it at the hotel? So you know how every day we were going from place to place? Oh. Every single, which is funny that you asked that. Every single time that we were parked up at a place, all of our stuff was in our car anyways. Oh. And the thing is, it doesn't matter because our car was, one, it was tinted. Yeah, two, yeah. everything was in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no one would have, like, like you, you can't see what's in the car. It's right? horrible. So... <clears throat> what ended up happening was we um, were driving to Pisa and it was like about, I want to say maybe like 8 p.m. Okay. And it was like, it looked like it was about to like start raining and it was going to be like a rainstorm, right? But the idea was the next day we had a seven hour drive to go back to Switzerland. Okay. So we were like, yo, let's quickly go to Pisa now and then we can go to the hotel rest and tomorrow we could just do the drive, right? Okay. As opposed to tomorrow waking up, going to Pisa, then uh, we've just been tired. So we park up. Every single place in Italy we parked underground. This one specific part, we just parked on like the street parking, which is normal. Like everyone parks on the street parking. So we park up, we go to Pisa, and mind you, Pisa is like low key boring as shit too. There's just a leaning tower, which yeah. low key mid, because it's <laughs> one, it's not that tall. Yeah. And yeah, two, yeah. like, <sighs> it's a leaning tower in it. <laughs> Like it's not that it's not that fancy um and so we went for like 30 minutes you know we did the typical tourist pictures or yes. whatever and then we come back to the car and at this point it's like super dark and it's like starting to rain a little bit so we're all getting in the car and then my brother gets in the back seat and he's literally like he's just starts screaming he's like yo our car got broken into and i'm like what and then we see the window's just been broken into and instantly in my head i'm like fuck i'm like bro God. like fuck so the first thing I left, I'm like, bro, it's my camera bag there. Because in there, I have my laptop, so like about $2,000. My camera, which was like about 700 whatever. A bunch of, like, Burberry shorts. Like, a bunch of clothes gone. Um, and, like, a bunch of other stuff, too, from my other people. And, bro, it, like, we, we opened the trunk. And, like, the thing is, when you just move bags all the time, you don't, you kind of forget, like, yeah. what did you put in the car and what did you not have in the car? We just see a bunch of shit missing. And, like, the first thing I knew was, bro, where is my Nike bag with all my shit? Yeah, 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 I look yeah, for yeah. it, gone. And I'm like, okay, 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 fine. Like, where's my red suitcase? Gone. Horrible. And, bro, it was so fucked. And so here's the thing. The Italian police, uh, I, actually, I'll be a little respectful because we're still, we're still uh, talking to them. <laughs> it's still ongoing. It's an ongoing investigation, guys. Yeah. This is, this Inside is, scoop. <laughs> so the Italian police, it's different. So in Toronto, Canada, you call the police, they're going to come to you, right? In Italy... They don't actually do that. So more or less, you have to go to the station and you have to actually file a complaint. Okay. And so we go to the station and they're like, yeah, the police station's closed. Mind you, it's like maybe like eight or nine or whatever. They're like, oh, the police station's closed. And we're like, what do you mean? Like, we just lost our shit. And here's the other issue. Huge language barrier. So we also saw security guards outside and we're like, bro, like our car got broken. And like, we're like talking like car stole they stole like you know like yeah, we're talking yeah, like, like we're fucking English. like yeah, retarded yeah. <laughs> and Horrible. we're doing that and then yeah we filed a police report um and now it's just a matter of like realistically we're not getting yeah, any of the shit back shit. but uh we might get compensated by insurance because we got full insurance with the car Sick. so but it's like now we gotta like email them and that's the issue we got the car in germany so they speak dutch so we gotta like play freaking broken telephone with the dutch people and it's like this is this is long process. Wait, but don't you have family there in Germany? Like, couldn't they do the communication? For we you? have the, we have family in Switzerland, but um, when they called, they said that they need us to actually contact them because all Fuck. the co all the like bookings <laughs> were in our name and shit. Fucking horrible. Yeah, so it's like they can't speak on our behalf or whatever. So, <sighs> yeah, it freaking it sucks because like the the money part is like whatever money comes and goes, but like I don't even know what's in that laptop that like. That you won't have one, that one day that like I might be looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, oh, God, fucking long day. <laughs> fucking hell. So it was terrible. It was that, bad. Like that oh. was horrible because I remember you. You kept bringing my line, and I don't remember where I was. But I remember I couldn't answer. Why does this guy keep fucking calling me? Because yeah. he's calling back. To, he's called me while he's on the trip, but not back to back. What the fuck? Then he just sends a text all cap. Yo, fucking lost everything. 
the fuck? Step aside, call him back, and he's telling me a story. I'm just like, I literally didn't even know what to say. Like, yeah. Do I say sorry? Do I say fucking, <laughs> it's okay? Like, fuck. Because like you said, like, yeah, whatever. Fucking gear, equipment. You can always buy new shit. That's fine. I mean, yeah. clearly we, we had to. But I mean, the fucking, the memories, like if you had videos or pictures, backed up footage. Yeah. Wait, did you lose any like your, no, like footage or stuff? Was anything back? Was, do you back your shit up? There was... The, I actually, well, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Yeah, tell me a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, literally, I literally don't know. So that's the issue. Like, I know there's definitely some pictures. There's definitely some videos from, um, like, my birthday parties yeah. that, like, never actually got put yeah. out to the public. Like, Fuck. that's gone, which kind of fucking sucks. The most disappointing part is, before this guy left, we filmed the fucking greatest podcast ever with a crazy guest that you guys are not going to believe this because we literally don't have proof anymore. <laughs> we had fucking Drake in the studio. Filmed, edited. He literally said we can't post it until he watches over or whatever. Yeah, we signed an NDA and like made sure we wouldn't. Fuck. That yeah. footage is on there. We lost the Drake episode. We lost Drake episode. So for the thieves out there who stole the camera and the computer. Enjoy. Thank you. Watch a Drake exclusive because yeah. uh, he didn't even watch it yet. He, he didn't. But no, it was crazy because, bro, like it, if, if we saw people breaking into our car, it would have been a bloodbath. God. Like me, yeah, they would have like, fucking stabbed you to death. No, we would have fucking. <laughs> You'd be on the floor bleeding your guts out, <laughs> bro. It would have been bad, like, cause there's just so much anger. Like Fuck. as soon as that happened, like, I was filled with anger, and it was just like straight, like, bro, like, like at that point, bro, I was like, I was like, fuck it, I'm about to start stealing, I'm about to start fucking, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck it, like, here we go, here's my fucking villain arc, you know? That's crazy. Then like the Best Buy stole a bunch of gear. <laughs> whoa, 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 I don't know about that. <laughs> Yo, so and then the next day, um, we we go, we do the police report, whatever, and then we're like, okay, like how do we fucking bounce back from this? Um, which we went back to the fucking uh parking lot just to kind of see, and like we did like a whole like walk around the fucking block just to see like, cause whoever stole it, like it probably wasn't their first gig. Oh, for sure. Cause we saw like um like uh, a cloth on the floor like by our car, and we also saw like a couple like a big rock. So we're trying to figure out if the person like punched it with the cloth or if they uh, the rock and the cloth. Yeah, like whatever they did. And we couldn't really like I don't know, like fucking we're not fucking detectives. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it was just that happened. So but the next day we went to we were driving back to Switzerland. Um it started raining a bit, whatever. We ended up going to the beach. Um that's probably the most beautiful beach I've ever been to in my life. I don't, do you remember the one where like there was like all the buildings and yes, the mountains, mountains and, and shit? Bro, yeah, be yeah, that beach yeah, was beautiful. Crazy. So we went there, it was pretty sick. Um and then we drove back to Switzerland and then yeah, fuck. And then I guess I'll, I'll tell the Switzerland story, but let's hear some of uh. Yeah, what, it was what fucking happened. horrible, bro. The fucking robbery. Wait, other than you, did your family lose anything worth value? Uh, yeah, there was like a couple. Uh, what? What did you say? I hear what you said. There, there was, there was like a sleep machine, which like apparently was like a thousand something bucks. Oh shit! And I was like, oh, well. they stole that. Yeah. Wow. Horrible. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's fucking life. It's unfortunate, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, you want to carry on though? I feel I feel like we're in the flow of this. Oh, should I yeah, carry on? Yeah. Okay, just okay. so we connect dots and shit. Just okay, okay. Fucking <laughs> so we so we went to Switzerland and um, fuck, we I, Switzerland Loki went by pretty quickly because like I was with my cousins there and there wasn't really much that was new in the sense like we did spend a lot of time. They also moved to a new house, so now they have a much bigger house. Um, there was a couple days where we just kind of just chilled and just kind of like we played soccer and by the mountain or football at the mountains um we went to this place it's called glacier 3000 so it's 3000 meters in the air so okay. it's, it's like the swiss alps okay okay bro it was breathtaking okay. man literally like everywhere you look you just see snowy it's mountains snowy 360 mountains. views um we went up there we did like a little hike we did um we did like those like swiss roller coasters where it's See like that. usually just it's like a go-kart almost yeah but it's like on a roller coaster that was super fun um and just the mountains like it's just unmatched uh switzerland was it's like bro it's one of those countries where you would want to have like a house there but like because of how expensive it is if you're not making a shit ton of money elsewhere or making money in switzerland it doesn't make sense uh. so like the entry level like if you're like out of like school or whatever you're making at least 5k um a month in switzerland Sick. which like here if you're out of school like you're lucky to make two you know what i mean so like significantly more money but again you spend a lot more um where else are we in switzerland bro i feel like we like switzerland was like switzerland was looking like a blur like we just quick like i know we did like a bunch of things like we went to a, a bunch of different mountains sightseeing and whatnot um 
yeah, like I'm trying to think, like, fuck, what else did we do? I don't know. What else? What do you remember me doing? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I know we went to that Glacier 3000 place. Yeah, I remember just seeing snaps. Like you just had different like um, like hot and spots shit. and stuff, yeah. like tourist places. Well, oh, bro, we went to the Lindor factory. Oh, I seen that too. That's funny. <laughs> Which was, it was kind of stupid. <laughs> was of course, like, you whatever. went there to fucking all people. Yeah, like fuck, like the number need, one customer. Yeah, hundred. They Lindors. do that VIP uh, yeah. <laughs> tour. <laughs> <laughs> they brought me to the back and everything, bro. I was like, yeah, know. fucking, I signed a contract. Boom. Sick. Um, yeah, bro, the, the the food there is also very expensive. Like a big. So here's the problem with Switzerland. Like if you go to McDonald's, you want to get like a like a like a meal. Sure. You're spending like thirty bucks. Crazy. Which is insane. That's crazy. Like, imagine every time you go to McDix, you're spending 30 bones. Yeah, that's crazy. It's insane. Unheard of. But I think it's, they probably treat it more like a specialty thing, right? Because, like, it's not like the traditional fast food. Ah, uh, like, no. Nah. Okay, better yet. Give me, like, when you go to an average restaurant, like a local restaurant there, what do you spend? You spend 30 bucks a meal? More or less, yeah. Really? Oh, bro, we, sh- we tried. You know what, like, a donor kebab is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we had a donor kebab pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god. It hits, eh? Fucking oh, different. <laughs> fucking different. It's phenomenal. Mindless. Mindless. You gotta have a donor kebab gotta pizza, bro. You gotta live life till you had a donor kebab pizza, <laughs> man. <laughs> you gotta go to you, bro. I'm telling you, you gotta go there. Um honestly, bro, I don't remember what the fuck else I did in Switzerland. Because the other thing was like after that thing whole that like, kinda happened, the vibes were kinda off. Oh yeah, for sure. So like I was also trying to figure out like fuck, okay, what am I gonna do? Um and a lot of it was like spending time with family over there as well. Sick. Um, and after that is when things kind of got a little crazy. So I went to London and bro. So the week I went to London was apparently their hottest week, like the record hottest week ever, ever like in fucking history. Yeah. The and fuck? bro, the crazy thing is, you know how everyone says, oh, it always rains in yeah. London. Fam, tell me how I've been to London twice. The first time I was there for, I think, eight days. Just now I was there for 10 days. I haven't experienced rain in London. Crazy. So I have to be like a good omen or something. Yeah, crazy. Like, there's no way I've been to London for that long and I haven't seen this fucking raindrop. Horrible. It's not, no, fucking phenomenal. I guess it's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking funny great. Because that, that is literally the stereotype that it rains all the time. Yeah, and I've never seen it. And so they were like all my London friends. So in London is where obviously I have like a bunch of friends. There's a couple fucking London TikTokers. You guys are goof bitches. Should I call them out? Call them out, bro. Name drop. And I'm not gonna name drop. This guy's but a pussy. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna name drop them. But you, you know who you are because you're probably gonna see this. And you, you know, who, you know who they are. Yeah, sure. I'll tell you off camera. But you are a fucking peon. You're a waste. You. Um, but I had to, I had to say that. Yeah, just call them so you could take them in the videos. No, because like fuck those guys. They don't need clout, bro. Fuck True. those guys. They're they're irrelevant anyways. They're 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 washed. Um, one of them was on podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Crazy. Seems like such a nice guy. <laughs> that that's that's what I thought. Hmm? Okay, so okay, so context. Good, yeah, that's a good point. Why, yeah, why, yeah. why do you hate them? Why, why, why do I fucking hate these? Well, I don't hate them because I mean, whatever. Hate hate's a strong word, you know. Just like. Um. The <laughs> the issue is so there was a couple people that I was supposed to link in London, right? A couple people I was supposed to collab with. A couple people I was supposed to chill and kick it sure. with, right? There are people that I made the most. Not the people, like a one-two oddball, <laughs> a one-two person that I made the most amount of plans with, did not even end up like fucking replying while I was out there. Did not even end up like linking up. It was bare flaky. Crazy. And it's crazy because like the people that I didn't really make plans with, they I was up. hanging out with them a lot more. Yeah, and yeah. low key, those guys are way fucking cooler, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they weren't even con- like they are content creators, but they're not like I wasn't gonna link them to make content, but I ended up making content with them. So yeah. shout out to actually yo, I can name drop these guys. Shout out to Aaron. Hajain, um, Siv, and all those guys. Those guys were super, and Robin too. Because those guys, all, you know, I fuck with them. They're cool. You know, they show me love. Uh, bro, London is insane because, like I said, I we talk about on the podcast so much how I love London. And when I went there, I didn't expect to be recognized in public. Like, I was chilling at, like, one of the London hotspots. And these three guys, three guys come up to me. Hey, yo, you're the TikTok guy in it. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So and they're bad. like, yo, bruv, yo, your radies in it. And I'm like, yo, yo, yeah, it's Radis, it's Radis. They're like, yeah, yeah, you're from Canada, bruv. And I'm like, yeah, yo, what are you saying? Yeah, that's a spot on, <laughs> <It's> bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. And fucking, they were, they, bro, they showed me love. Shout out to those that's guys, sick. Shaban. Um, fuck, I forgot the other guys' names, but they know who they are. Shout out to those guys. They just linked me. They're like, yo, the guy, he was so jokes, right? He was like, he's like, Bro, tell me how I'm seeing you on my for you page, yeah, in the morning, and I'll see you here. And I'm like, bro, that's fucking fine. I'm like, yo, that's fucked. That and fucked. I just ended up kicking it with them for a bit. We were just chilling, bro. 
um, those are super cool people, but they just took care of me. They were like, yo, like, we were going to go home now, but you're here. Like, let's, we can just chill. Just we somewhere. went by London Eye. We're, we're just sick, literally sick. just kicking just exploring. it. Exploring. Literally, bro. And they're just super chill. So that happened. You should have vlogged that day. That would have been fucking pretty crazy. I have snaps on my phone. I know, but vlog would be different. I wasn't going to vlog on my phone. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> Could have. Uh, that's the other thing too so i was supposed to film a bunch of stuff over there but i didn't I, bro i was also just like fuck like yeah it just fucking can't be asked um and then there, there was a couple again in london like i did do like a couple like collabs i linked a bunch of people whatever um there was one day in london bro i woke up okay this is kind of crazy this is where things are a little kind of a little freaky I was here. so i woke up one day in london and you know when like you drool but like it dries up and it's like in your skin and like you, you kind of like it's like yeah. white like whatever Tell me how I wake up one day and my whole face is red and there's just bare dried up blood. Really? Yeah. Like from your mouth or from your nose? From my mouth. Really? So I was so confused because I woke up and I go to the mirror and how my face is red. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Who was I fighting in my sleep? <laughs> you know? The like, question is, who are you sleeping with? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa, as fuck. That's disgusting, bro. Baby, why are you so wet? <laughs> God. <laughs> Horrible, but so it turns. Oh, was it out, actually blood though? Like, did you taste blood in your mouth when you woke up and shit? Or, well, so that's the thing. So, and like, I kind of still have it. I don't know what I did over there, whatever I, I ate or some shit. But bro, my teeth would just keep bleeding, like my gums. And like every time I brush my teeth, just bare blood. So I was so disgusting. confused. I was like, because the other thing is when blood. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, fucking doctors they out will. there. But I think when, if I'm not mistaken, when blood is exposed to oxygen, it turns like yellowish brown. It doesn't stay red. So like I, one day I, like I woke up and like bare like parts of my gums are just like a, that yellowish, like yeah, red, brownish, yeah. whatever. And I'm like, are my teeth about to fucking fall off? Like what's going on? Like are my teeth rotting right now? But I realized it's just blood. I just like taste the blood after. But That's yeah, it was weird. just weird. I don't know why it happened. Um, but any dentists out there, let me know. Be Listen, valuable lesson here. Be careful who you're fun doodling with. And then you come back with these rabies and you get rabies with rabies. <laughs> what a fucking guy. Um, All right, enough about the travel. Like, it, well, let's get the story time. Like, like mm. some, some fucking memorable stories, highlights so, of the trip. So some of the highlights would be freaking, so I went to the biggest Tamil clubbing event uh, in like the world. Okay. Which was insane. 3,000 Tamil people. Bro, it smelled like straight... Cur no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I was uh, say, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you come to the club smelling like curry and shit? That's bro, you crazy. know some jokes? They sold mutton rolls at the club. I believe it, man. There's, like, No, like I'm being serious. I, know, I believe it. And they sold like uh, biryani fucking there. At the club. At the club. So no one wakes up hungover. I guess not. I guess not. So that that was like one of the it's most... It's kind of disgusting though. Imagine you're like... That's why I actually don't like going to clubs. It's because I'm sober. I don't drink or, or smoke or anything. But you go to the club and usually people are drunk. So get really close to your face and they're talking to you and they, they smell like alcohol, right? Okay. Especially if you don't drink. Now can you imagine someone's drunk, they're talking in your fucking face and now their bread smells like mun rolls. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't catch me that place. But I feel like, yeah, and I kind of... That's the wrong kind of food to eat, you know? You're going to go out, you want to eat something light, you don't want your bread to smell like the food. Mun roll, biryani, these are wrong combos, bro. Because, yo, because... You okay. go raising up a girl's fucking mun stuck in nah, your teeth and shit. Cause, nah, bro, because... Nah, bro, because me and Robin, we, like, kept... Bro, we probably had, like, fucking, like, six mun rolls that fucking day. Crazy. And me and him, we were running duos. We were doing our thing, bro. I can't lie. Like, we were fucking... Crazy. Mutton roll breath or fucking no breath. We were fucking on it. <laughs> mutton roll boys. But there's mutton roll men. The mutton roll men. <laughs> the fucking the sick thing about that whole experience was that was the one time where like I had people taking pictures with me. Sick. And I think that was the first time I really experienced like how big I guess even our reach is. But even me personally, there were so many people in that event that knew me. Very and sick. to me, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Because like. Sick. To be recognized in Toronto is funny because Toronto's a small city and like whatever, we fucking grew up here, right? But to be recognized across the pond That's is crazy. insane. So that was like a huge, huge experience for me where I was like, wow, like I couldn't even believe how like it just felt like I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, like it's yeah. insane. Um, that, that was definitely a highlight. I'm trying to think. Another highlight would probably be like, oh, bro. Okay, we need to bring this to Toronto. I, I don't know who needs to do it, but someone needs to do it. So in, in uh, again, about more about food. I love it. They have these things called chicken shops. Okay. Right? And, like, you know how we have, like, KFC, Popeye's, yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. They they have, like, the Tamil guys running the chicken shops. Okay, okay. And, like, 
Tamil, like, you know, the, the old, the Tamil uncles, yeah, they can cook. They, cook you know what I mean? so they can cook. They're cooking. The chicken shops, have you had like peri peri chip or fries? Peri yeah, peri? Yeah, yeah. Have you had peri peri before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here? Here, yeah. Do you leave the fuck with it? It's all right. Bro. It's good. The peri peri over there? It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Bro, Nando's oh. is mod. Because, yeah. okay, so the first time I went to London, I didn't really fuck with Nando's, but I guess I ordered the wrong thing. This time I went, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. What'd you get? Like I had it three times, bro. F- okay, so here's my order. Ready? You go with four uh, chicken thighs. Okay. You get the peri peri chips. Okay. And garlic bread. Yeah. Fucking Hungry. amazing. That's usually what I get even here too. Get like the. You've uh, been to the Nando's here? Yeah, lots of times. So I I have never been to the Nando's here, but I'm gonna really? go here and I'm gonna see how different it is. Yeah. Because I bet you it's probably so different. I fucking has to be. It. Hundred percent. But at the same time, it could be the same. It, it, I it don't would think slightly so, be bro. different because like the sauce set imagine would be pretty ah you never know honestly. Nah, because so we have different like regulatory like food regulations too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing oh, oh, that one thing I dislike about London is they don't have that much variety in the sense that like if you go to like the pop or juice aisle, you're seeing like Lucasade, Fanta, Coke, fucking maybe like two other things. As opposed to like over here, you see like 20 different drinks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like there, there's way more variety. Fair. And, bro, their drinking culture over there is insane. Like alcohol? Yeah. Like, bro, because over there you could just have alcohol out. Okay. Like, you could just be drinking alcohol, like, uh, wherever, whenever. Yeah. And, like, bro, they drink. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. any freaking day. Drinking. It'll be, Horrible. like, midday and the pubs are booming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking. Cigars are expensive there. Really? Yeah. So what are you talking? Bro, I got a Romeo Juliet there for, I don't know. It's 40 bucks? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Cause it's, cause it's in pounds. It's like twenty something pounds. Okay. So, bro, it's expensive. Cause I don't. They don't really have like a like a crazy cigar culture, but they have nice cigar lounges over there. Oh yeah. yeah I didn't yeah, get yeah. to go to one, but they have some nice cigar lounges from what okay. I've seen. Fair. So that makes sense, man. Like, everything they they do there, they do it differently. Yeah. I mean, but think about it, cause like even with the pubs, right? Obviously, I don't drink, but like, cause the Irish people have Allegedly. a big. <laughs> Big pub culture. Yeah. Right? And then obviously a lot of people from Ireland immigrated over to London. Yeah. So I'd imagine, because it is like a melting pot too. I remember you said this last time, but like, like when you think about the national dish of, of UK, you think fish and chips. But like now it's like what, chicken tikka as well? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking nuts, right? It's yeah. a melting pot. A lot of, I heard there's a lot of brown people there. Mm-hmm. So much so that they're the fucking biggest Tamil clubbing, clubbing event, event in the world. Yeah. Bro, like people flew in from like, I met a guy who was from, uh, this is jokes. He's from, I think, uh, Norway. Okay. And... Or, or Scotland or some shit. Okay. And he came up to me. He's like, yo, yo, I know you. I'm like, I'm like, buddy, like, why do you not sound like everyone else? Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, I'm from Norway or some oh. or some fucking guy. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's so random. That's um, oh, there was also another another call out. Uh, maybe this will get clipped. I won't. There's a... Actually, no, I can't say that. It's too obvious. No? Everyone's going to know who it is. I can't say that, actually. <laughs> Can you just say it and remove it on post? Because, like, you might forget after the pod to ask. Nah, I'll tell you after. Because okay. I, I got to recap you. Yeah, true. Um, like, we got to talk about Yeah, we didn't even, that's the thing. We want to save it for the pod. So we haven't, like, we've been back for almost, like, what, a week and a week and a half, maybe? Like, two and a half weeks. Yeah, almost two weeks. I haven't even linked this guy because, like, oh, yeah, let's save it for the fucking yeah, pod. Yeah, we've just been waiting for to do this. Um, But, yeah, bro, other than, I don't know. What other, th- what other, what else, like, do you think I should tell you about? Because I'm trying to oh, think, no. like, what else, that, what else that, ha- that happened that would have been, like, like of crazy significance. Any crazy stories in London that happen? Um, that you got recognized. Oh, bro, I saw. So a lot of people don't actually see this, but I actually saw the London, like the Tower Bridge, go like up. Yeah, I actually seen you on that. <laughs> like, apparently, that's like super rare. Like a Is lot it? of my friends that actually live in London never seen that before. Oh, really? Bro, it just so happened that I was just walking there, and I just saw it. They lifted up so boats could pass, right? Yeah. Like the bigger boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. And I literally seen it. I bro, I seen a supercar rally on Oxford Street. Sick. Like just. Lambo, Porsche, this, that, whatever, nice. which was just random. Um, oh, okay. I have to give a shout out to this one restaurant called Flat Iron. Flat Iron. So I took myself for a little steak dinner. Sick. Or maybe I went on a date. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So it's so sick. They, they when they seat you at your table, they give you like a like a, a jug with popcorn, like just yes. on the house. They I give you popcorn. <laughs> and then I ordered steak and a truffle mac and cheese. I was like, oh, you know, like fuck it, let's try it. It was, it was phenomenal. phenomenal. It was good. Steak was good. Um, mac and cheese was good. And then they give you like a little freaking, like a, like a, like a butcher's knife, but like a metal, like little, like, like almost like a Monopoly game piece. Okay. And they're like, yeah, like give this to the front. And I'm like, okay, you give it to the front. They just give you a free ice cream. What the fuck? Yeah. It was so random. Cause like I walked in the restaurant and I see everyone walking out with ice cream cones. I'm like, am I at the wrong fucking place? Like this is an ice cream parlor. Oh, fucking speaking of ice cream. 
Gelato? Gelato. Eh. Bro. I've been hearing about this gelato, bro. Bro. I've tried gelato before, but I, I never really liked it, but never in fucking Europe, so. Bro. It's different. Italian gelato. Never. Like, they had, like, kinder flavors, and I'm telling oh, you, wow. it's fucking, like, kinder. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking, and, like, they had, for, they had, oh, my God, bro, they had Nutella gelato. Fuck. Crazy. Bro. <laughs> Should we just start a food podcast? <laughs> God, you gotta do a mukbang or something, mukbang bro. Or something. That's crazy. No, that's a, that's the cool thing about traveling, bro. Like you get so exposed to like different cultures, different food and stuff. Mm-hmm. How different is is Europe from uh, North America, though? Like overall, like I'm sure there's similarities and differences, bro. So that's the thing. Like just I think even just comparing Europe, it's so different because like Switzerland is so much more different than Italy, yeah. and Italy's so much more different than London. So I'd say like. The closest Let's use London as an example. Okay, I feel like that's a big city. A lot sure, of people a lot of people would know it, bro. Culture-wise, it's very similar in terms in terms of like how um, diverse it is. Yeah. Um, the culture, it's all somewhat similar. The thing I would say is London just visually looks a lot better, and it's just way bigger. Yeah. Um, and I'd say like they have better, like they have different food that is significantly better. But like I said, like we have more variety. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Well, is it also true like the roads and everything are much smaller, smaller vehicles, y- stores inside are actually smaller? So I heard they don't even have super stores in London at all, like no Costco, no Walmart, nothing like that. Well, they have like Asda or like Tesco. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like there, there's nothing like huge. Like you know how like downtown Toronto, we'll see like like a a superstore or like yeah, a grocery yeah. store. They don't really have big grocery stores like that in London. Unless, like, they... Nah, on I don't the, maybe really on remember. the outskirts, like, in the suburb. Yeah, areas. I'm, no, there they definitely yeah, yeah, do. But, but like, like, in Central, you don't really see anything. So. Um, in terms of cars, like, because, bro, like, we have, what, like, four subway lines in Toronto? Bro, they have, like, what, like, 15 oh, yeah, or something? Fucking, so it doesn't make sense to drive there. Yeah. Everyone just takes the tube. Did you drive there at all in London? In London, no, I did not drive at no, all. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, and also, it's the opposite side, right? Yeah. So, like, I... Wait, have you drove at all when you're when you're on the trip? In London? Like, like the, yeah, the whole yeah, trip? yeah, yeah, yeah. But everywhere there, the, everything's flipped, right? Like no, it's just in London. Oh, it's just in London. Everything's yeah, flipped. Yeah, yeah. The fuck? Yeah. This want to be different. I, I don't know why that is actually. I wonder. I love to drive a right-hand vehicle car. Uh, like my cousin has one, but he won't let me drive it. Guys, stingy guy. Wait, we're here. Here, yeah. Why does he have a right? What is, what car is it? It's an expert from Japan. It's an old. Uh, what is it? Two forty ZX Nissan. Yeah. It looks sick as hell. Right-hand drive manual. Wait. So why? So like, how does that like? You got to export it or. Imported. imported here no but how does that work on roads like is like it's probably something you just get used to <laughs> yeah but it's interesting i always want to i want to drive one too because yeah. like, like the only thing is bro, every time you cross the road like you're basically flipping a coin over there yeah because yeah, like yeah. you're looking like this way but the car is actually coming from that side <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're like, you're like you have fuck. to check you know they say Change check that. both sides yeah, of the, like yeah, you actually yeah, have to check yeah, both sides yeah, of the fair. fucking road fucking fair um, the London bus is actually, I took the bus this time. It was, you watch Top Boy? No. I have actually never watched Top Boy either, but <laughs> <laughs> they have the, you know, the double decker buses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they had like them like all blacked out for like promo for Top Boy. Okay. Although he looked fucking gangster. Sick. It was all like matte black. Yeah, but sick. Yeah, bro. It was, it was fucking, it was oh, a good trip. It was a sick trip, trip, bro. It's unfortunate though, because the way we wanted to plan it, we wanted to both go so we could do a podcast tour. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll figure it out next year. But no, man, I've seen the stories, like you going twice. Like, you still obviously want to go back, which is a great sign. Mm. We got to run that trip, bro. We're, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Let's talk about your trip, bro. Yeah, bro. My trip was so different than yours. It was so different, but similar. Because, like, just like you, I was on the go all the time. Yeah, yeah, but, like, yeah. Like, we went to, how many cities we went to? Orlando, Charlotte, Bahamas, Mexico, and a different place in Mexico. So we went to, like, five or six different cities. Mm. And uh, technically three or four different We're countries. We're in Bahamas, you were in Nassau. Yeah, Nassau. But it's crazy. So we took a cruise, obviously. We'll talk about it in a second. But in Nassau, we didn't go to the main city. We went to a private island that's owned by the, the fucking the resort people. The, no, the the cruise the cruise, the cruise line. Ah. So it was an interesting experience because I thought we were actually gonna go and like explore the culture or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it was like everybody that was on the boat was on the fucking island. Oh. It was cool. Yo, and this, this crazy thing is like, I think I saw an NBA player, bro. So this is, this is so. But he just saw a tall black guy. No, 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 and it's crazy because he's white. Okay, so my whole time on the <laughs> cruise, and we're gonna talk about the whole story in a second. I'll say in order, but like this story just. Pop in my mind. I see this old white guy every day. I think he's on the same floor as me. Um, what do you mean, same floor as you? Like oh, at the, at the on, cruise. on the cruise, oh, okay, right? Okay. Um, old white guy, like so old, like he's hunched over too. Big ass afro, skinny, lanky. Okay. And, and he's always in like ball shorts. Wait, and, like, afro? Yeah. 
he he's, he's white. white. He's white, but his hair looked like it was afro. I guess it was like long, you know, like the kind of like your hair, like curlyish, but it's like open. It looked like afro, but okay. it was just long hair. Okay. okay. You saw we see him, and he just had that fucking look, you know. Like um, I almost wanted to go up to make a fucking video with him. He just had that look, an old guy too. Must be in the '80s or something. And I kept telling my wife every time I look, I'm like, yo, I swear this guy must be a fucking NBA player. And I see him every single day. I wanted to talk to him, but he didn't look approachable. And one specific day, I saw him wearing like fucking retro basketball gear. Uh-huh. I like the OG NBA logo. Yeah. Had like some fucking OG Nike shoes I never seen in my life before. <laughs> and like for, for the basketball guys out there, yo, well, I mean this old guy, I feel, I feel like he's a. Uh, Basketball player. Bro, Loki, he just bought some like it counterfeit Nike shit from Bahamas and he was just bro. rocking it. But yo, trust me, when you see that guy, he just actually looked like he was a retired basketball player. But buddy, you think you could make the NBA? Yeah. So you look like a basketball player. But I don't look like a basketball player. Okay, okay. I don't look like a, I'll be honest, I don't look like a basketball player. But let's go in sequential order. Yeah. So obviously we left from Toronto. It was so last minute. Rudy's went on a trip and I had a lot of free time in my hand. And um I'm like, yo, we may as well fucking go somewhere. So we're planning a trip to go Disneyland, Orlando. And then we saw the cruise deals. And it was just crazy cheap. I've never been on a cruise before. How much was it? It was like eight fifty per person for S- eight nights. Eight nights. Okay. And oh my like, yo, eight hundred bucks. Sure, it'll be sick. So last minute, I always had a stigma that cruises for old people. Like, who the fuck wants to go on a fucking cruise? Stuck on a boat, middle of the water, don't even know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great combination. But we're like, fuck it, we'll go. So we drive from here to Charlotte. Literally, it was like a 13, 14 hour drive, nonstop. Literally, stay at a hotel, nice hotel. Next morning, wake up, drive to Orlando. And we docked the cruise. Went early. Bro, this cruise was a fucking mansion. Not a mansion. It's a fucking mega building on water, bro. Really? It was like 20, 27 floors. Wow. 27 floors. They probably had like, I've had to guess, like 8,000 cabins maybe. Okay. Like, it was fucking massive. They had a water park with slides and stuff. Treetop trekking. Basketball what? court. Like, fucking four different pools. Like, Three different clubs, a full theater that I could see a thousand people, like an actual, not like a movie theater, like a live performing theater. They had yeah, shows yeah, every yeah. single night, stand up comedians every other night or something, live musicians everywhere. Like every part of the boat had its own thing going on. Wow. Like it was so fucked where, like, when we were there, so from the moment we woke up to we're sleeping pretty much, it was like nonstop entertainment. Wow. Like it was fucking sick, but the first day we get on, first thing we do is obviously go to eat food. And you were on blow the whole time too? We docked. No, no, uh, you were, no, you were on blow the whole time too. No, <laughs> he's on a boat. No, I was not blow the whole time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we go, we go to the buffet, and the craziest thing is, someone told me the food's halal, right before oh. going on. So I go up to the guy, like, yo, I heard the food's halal, and the guy's like, yeah, yeah, it's all halal. Sketch me the fuck out the way he said it. Like, all right, go inside the kitchen. I see some Indian guy working there. I'm like, yo, this food here halal? He's like, yeah, it is halal. Again, sketch me the fuck out. I'm like, yo, I'm a pretty religious guy. I'm not trying to eat no haram food, right? But, but then we asked the actual chef, and apparently all the food except for pork was halal. Oh. So it was a fucking sickest experience. Because for me, when I travel, especially from a non-Muslim country, I can't eat chicken unless they have halal chicken. I can't eat beef. So it's usually seafood or vegetarian diet. Right. This trip, we're all fucking eating at the buffet like crazy, bro. Word. You ate the pork too? No, not the pork. <laughs> not the pork. But it's just fucking, food was phenomenal. They had buffets pretty much running 24-7. Wow. Like, fucking, you can be eating all day. And they also have, like, a five-star dining restaurant that you eat at every single day, too. Oh, shit. And you sit down. They have a new menu every single day. Full fucking service. Wait, is it was all-inclusive? It was all-included, bro. Oh, wow. It was fucking nuts. Like, I can't... For 800 bucks, that was a steal. They literally... Like, but he five, ate, like, a rack worth of food. <laughs> bro, a dead ass, bro. Probably even more, bro. <laughs> but it was, like... Even the dining experience was so, like, fucking bougie, bro. Where, like, the server, like, all fucking had the arm sleeve. Pull your seat open. Seat you down kind of Damn. situation. Like, they shut you off. Like, with under like, the table, too? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> they give you, like, the bread and butter. It was just a fucking <laughs> phenomenal vibe. The first day starts taking off, okay? Yeah. And you'd expect the cruise is going to be, like, very rocky, right? It was very rocky. Oh, really? <laughs> the first fucking day, I'm like, yo, I don't know how I'm going to go eight days like this. Because to oh. a point where, like, bro, you literally feel like you're drunk. You're walking straight. You're leaning right. Then you're leaning well, right. I already know what it feels like to be drunk. I watch movies, man. Oh, right, right. Right? So it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was fucked. But at the same time... Remember I told you the live shows were going on? Yeah. It'd be, the crew is literally fucking tilting right for it. Acrobats doing flips and tricks and shit. Damn. I'm like, these guys are literally desensitized to the movement. Wow. Good thing, though, is that was only the first day. The rest of the trip was fine. Because backstory, last second I was about to cancel a cruise trip because the, some massive hurricane just passed fucking Orlando. It was fucking, like, horrible. What was it? Do you remember the name? Hurricane Irene or something? Some crazy fucking hur- hur- hurricane. They're, like, more or less about to cancel a cruise ship. Wow. Like, we're getting updates every day, but thankfully we were able to go cru- the 
Hurricane Pass. A bunch of houses got all fucked up in Orlando. Not Orlando, mm. somewhere in Florida. First day on water. Next day we wake up, we're in Bahamas, bro. And the sickest part was we got the upgraded room, so we had the balcony. Wake up in the morning, open the fucking oh. curtain. We're in fucking Bahamas, bro. Oh, shit. Literally, it fucking felt like a dream, man. You no know, way. Open the window, the water is as fucking clear as could be. Really? Blue. There's like palm trees everywhere. Damn. And like a small, I mean, it's big, but from the cruise, it looked like a small island. Yeah. That's fucking litty. We went and explored the island. We're like going to like the waves. We're seeing all these different animals. You were able to like swim in like open you water? Know, yeah, yeah. You were okay. swimming in open water. Very salty water, too, bro. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Like, bro, yeah, I've never seen water that fucking clear before, man. Damn. It was trippy how, like, it looked fucking fake. Like, the pictures looked sick, but in real life, it was like, more clear. It looked bro. better in real life. It looked better in real life. Damn. It was nuts, bro. Now I understand why people always go Bahamas for like honeymoons and shit. Really? And it, was, it was crazy. Uh, we spent about two days in Bahamas, and the next day we went Wait, to. Wait, you're docked up the whole time? We're days? docked up the okay, whole time, okay. but you sleep on the boat. Okay. I, I think at 11 p.m. at night they actually closed. No, was it midnight they closed the island? That's kind of whack. Oh, because it's kind of whack. Yeah, they don't want anybody on the island. So the staff, the island staff sleeps there. I guess like I don't know, maybe they don't want people missing or stuff. It was crazy. They like party pretty much from like this party started around like sunset, which is like 8 30 to like midnight. They had a whole lighthouse, LED show, fucking people are partying by the beach. What the fuck? They had fire pits everywhere. It looked like something straight out of a fucking movie, bro. Yeah, like the it fire was, festival or some it, shit. Yeah. And the crazy the part fuck? is then you come back onto the cruise, this party's going on all night, up until like five or six AM in the morning at different levels of the docks. So, like if you if you're a party animal, bro, you go all out. Oh, so you had a time then. <laughs> no. Hey man, I don't want really to party like that, but it was it was crazy, bro. They also had like it was sick. They had like activities for young people, little kids, old people, but they also had like special activities for like singles only. They had, like singles, every night was like singles night in a special um, lounge area, uh-huh. where like people who came traveling alone or like a group of friends are all single. Right. You go single, right, and mingle kind of thing. Oh, so you kept right. sneaking out, right? Huh? You could be fucking having a good time if you really wanted. Really? To, you know? like, Yo, so what were some like the sickest activities that were there? Bro, my favorite thing were the shows, man. Like, okay. like performing and shit, amazing shows. What else did they have comedian. though? Like what other activities were there? On the actual boat, they had a zip line. What else did they have? They had a zip line. <laughs> you just told me there's a bunch. <laughs> there was a water slide. Bro, honestly, like, all this stuff was cool. <laughs> but I didn't really There's beer activities, Sam. I didn't really. Zip line. <laughs> I didn't shows. Really wa- I don't want to say waste, but I didn't really spend my time on the boat per se. Everything you're we docked, we're off the boat. But like, if you were on a boat, like we did go on the water slides, which were pretty cool. It was fucked, bro. One of the water slides, I was like, because it goes outside. Hot as hell, bro. Oh. It was like, bro, it's, and it's scary because it's dark. Bro, like, for a second, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, if we get stuck in here, it's okay. game over, bro. <laughs> but no, the water slide zip lines and stuff. They had, like, different, like, um, games and stuff organized throughout the day, like trivia and stuff. But I didn't do any of that, bro. Oh, like, like bingo the, and yeah, shit. The, yeah. The, the main thing I did, yo, they also had a full blown casino on there, too. It's Damn. Crazy. I don't know how they feel. Yeah, you, like, cold. had, like, all. So you you really like all your vices came out gambling, crazy, coke, crazy, but it, it was it was something it was something crazy though. The Wi-Fi is not free on the boat. How much was that? Four hundred dollars U.S. for me and my wife for the whole trip. For the whole trip. That's fucking insane. That's, and bro, the qual- like the, the actual upload speed was fucking terrible. Wow. It was fucking like it was literally it would take like twenty minutes to upload a clip. Wow. Yeah, it's horrible Wi-Fi. They're charging like two hundred dollars U.S. per person. It's nuts, but that was that was that. Bro, bro, what do they use like Starlink? Probably not. Not Starlink. I feel like Starlink would have been shit. faster. Probably some shitty satellite. Definitely something up there though. Something from a space broadcasting down satellite for sure, but not Starlink because it's slow as hell. Yeah, because if it was Starlink, that would have been probably booming. very fast. Yeah, but it was it was sick, bro. The the coolest thing was when we were in Mexico, day one in Mexico, we we, we got off the boat, we take a, a taxi to downtown. And just explore, shop. My like favorite Mexico fucking, City? Yeah, like Mexico. It was, uh, I think it was called Ca- Cazumel. But bro, it's like fucking, I don't know if you did this, but you go out to the city and you start bargaining with these guys. It's one of the funnest experiences ever. Guy barely speaks English. Bargain 20 minutes over something they got from AliExpress. It was just, it was funny as hell. I got my hair braided for the first time. That oh, shit yeah, I've seen hurts, that. bro. Yeah, it does. That shit fucking hurts. I think I kept it in max. Like, but obviously day one, after day one, it didn't hurt anymore. But like my hair's very straight. It started coming out. Yeah, so like, it started looking messy, so I took it out. But I was fucking, I was jokes. The next day, we went to a different city in Mexico. I forgot the name, but that's where they had the pyramids. And we, it was sick, bro. We just rented a scooter. Chichen Itza? Not Chichen Itza. That was, we went to Chichen Itza the last time. It was a different one. Was this is your third island. time in Mexico? My second time. Second time. But it's like a third different city. We rented scooters and just straight exploring. Oh. All right. At this point, we have no data, bro. And we're just like riding our scooters and shit. 
And then oh. we just fucking lost. Wait, bro, time out. Time, are you a dumbass? What? Why'd you pay for Wi Fi and not just get an eSIM? You couldn't get eSIM because there's no network. Why would there not be a network? When you're underwater. You could do it when you're on land, but you wouldn't be able to do it on the water. Sure. You still need service for, for the eSIM. Oh, there's no service at all. Nah. But still, wouldn't that have been way cheaper than two bills? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have it on the water, though. For example, when you're in Bahamas, you can use eSIM or your provider. Yeah. And two days in Mexico. But for the majority, you're on the water. Oh, uh, but yeah. I thought you said you're mainly docked up for two whole days. In Bahamas, we're docked up for two days. And then, <laughs> but we're on water, like, because eight days. Yeah. We're, we're docked up for two days. And then Mexico, we're docked up for just a couple hours. Oh. And we went to another city in Mexico. We're docked up there also for a couple hours. So we had, like... 48 hours of actually docked to oh. land. So what I was originally going to do is I wasn't going to get the Wi-Fi. I was going to turn my service on and just pay, I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks a, a day. day. Yeah. Something like that. And I, I was going to do that. But then someone on the cruise told me, I don't know, they tried that last time they did it. It didn't really work well. When you're on the actual boat and you're not on the land, something about it's really slow. No, what I'm saying is, because that's Rogers or Fido yeah, or whoever Rogers. you're with trying to do it. Yeah. If you get an eSIM, you can get it for, for the continent. And low key, that would have worked. On the water? I mean, I would test it next time. Yeah, fuck it. It'd be worth testing because I think eSIMs are dumb cheap these days. Stupid like cheap. Like 20, bro. 30 bucks. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was crazy. The next time we're, the second city we're in Mexico, got scooters and shit, literally rode all around. That's so got sick. Got lost, bro. It was fucking sick, bro. What was it like? What, so, wait, you're riding on the pyramids and shit? Yeah, not uh, around the like, pyramids, just on the island. More, oh, okay, okay. And we okay. stopped at a couple of pyramids. It was just vibes, bro. It was fucking, I love Mexico, bro. Yeah. Just like, Great time. The food's great. The people are very nice. The coke is pure. That's what they say. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was sick. And then we we got back. This is probably the fucking okay. This is where the fucking shit kind of got crazy. Mm -hmm. Not crazy, but it was an inconvenience for me. After the eight days, we dock back into Orlando. Yeah. Go to my car. Car won't turn on. Like the key won't unlock the door. Okay. It's like whatever. You know, he goes. I don't. You don't have a regular car key. But. Um, <laughs> There's a remote, obviously, yeah. but inside the remote, there's actual physical key. I never ever used a physical key on the, on my car before, but I'm like, okay, we'll use a physical key to open the door. Physical key won't, won't open the door. It's like fucking. I don't know if the if the key was swapped because I got this car pre-owned, so maybe like the fucking old owner lost his like, real key and it's just a dummy key, but it wouldn't open. So mm -hmm. I had to call a towing company, paid a hundred bucks for them to basically break into my car yeah. and boost the car. It was it was so it was so weird. Um, then we drove to Disneyland. We did the Disney thing. Car was fine. Disney is fucking phenomenal. The next morning, same bullshit. Wait, okay, but wait, how phenomenal? Okay, wait, I should continue the story. Yeah, yeah. So same thing like the so we went to Disney, whatever. Come back at night, checking at the hotel, park the car, sleep, wake up, six hours later, come to the car, car won't unlock again. Take the key. The key also won't open the door. So there's no way to get in the car. Got a called tow truck guy. He comes as the same shit. They like break into your car. Like they use like an air pump, open the door slightly, use a hook to pull the door open. But the second time I got the door open, my yeah. car goes into panic mode, which basically means the battery was never dead. So fucking, I'm confused and I'm talking to the fucking tow truck guy. He's like, maybe someone tried breaking your car and this, or he said, or maybe your battery's dead. Some bullshit like that. But it was just fucking inconveniencing as hell. And then what, like now your car key works? Yeah. <laughs> the fucking craziest bullshit ever. But like now it's like fucking- Now you're $200 down the drain. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Extra two hundred dollars. How jokes would it be for leaving now in your car? Does <laughs> why I shouldn't have but, said that, bro? But that's the horrible part. Is like then a couple of days ago, after being back for weeks, yeah. my battery, like the car, like when I'm starting it, yeah, it's you know how old cars they like crank and don't crank fully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's fucked up in my car, bro. Gotta visit mechanic shop. What the fuck? Horrible. Okay, so I was gonna ask. So you said Disneyland's phenomenal, okay? Yeah. How phenomenal is it actually? Like for someone like our age, you know, like. Oh, you know, you're an agitate stan. Like you smoke cigars and like you abuse women and shit. Like you actually had fun there. Nah, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep it a buck. Yeah. For the average person, it's gonna suck ass. Okay. And I'll, the reason why is just to enter costs 150 US dollars for one park. There's five parks. You can even do it all in one day if you want to. But if you want to go to all five parks, you have to get something called a park hopper, which is like another 60 or 70 US dollars. Okay. So you're 200 dollars down the drain per person just getting you fucking inside. Okay? okay. All the rides are pretty much aimed towards kids. So it's not like fucking Wonderland or like Six Flags where you're on crazy roller coasters. They're mm. all like digital rides, very soft. There's one crazy ride, the Tron ride, fucking phenomenal. The what ride? It was like, you know like the Tron movie? Oh, Tron, Tron. Yeah, it was like a Tron ride. You're like on one of the motorcycles. It goes really fast. Oh, okay. That one's fucking sick. But everything else is kind of mid. But the reason why I said it was phenomenal is like, if you're into like the Disney stuff, it's kind of a good time, you know? Like you're like, you're seeing all the different sets that create the castle and stuff. It is uh, like that magical experience. I was with my wife. 
got the Disney hats and shit. Right. Uh, for that sense of the vibe. But if you're actually just talking about like having fun riding the rides, the rides are kind of mid. What was like the best like set or whatever that you've seen? Bro, the castle is low-key smaller than what you'd imagine. Okay. When I went to the one in LA a couple years ago, I was very disappointed. This one's a bit better than that one. But uh, it's in general, like everything's just fucking nice, bro. Very attention to detail. The castle's very nice. And they have like a different castle, like near like the, the aerial area. It just looks fucking, bro. It looks like you're in a movie set. Mm. You're walking around, the sun setting, everything yeah, looking yeah. fucking real nice, light up real nice. Bro, the fireworks are the craziest fireworks I've ever seen, bro. Really? Like they have like fucking fireworks and then like a fire show going on. The castle has like lights and projection on it. Yeah. It's crazy. The experiences of Disney's nice, but it's just. Actual rides and stuff are kind of mid. Yeah, yeah. But I had a great time. Everything's hella expensive when you get in Disney. Bottle of water is like ten bucks. Damn. Popcorn's like I think like eight, nine bucks. Damn. You can buy a meal, you got for at least 70, 80 bucks Damn. on a meal. But it's definitely worth it. It's like a once in a like blue moon. Like you're not going you're there. You're not like going there all the time. Yeah. Like if I'm in Orlando again, will I go to Disney? Sure. But like I wouldn't expect someone to want to go there fucking all the time. Unless yeah, you go yeah. with like little kids. Did or you go to the really Harry Potter it. part? No, that's 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 in Universal. Oh, okay. That's, that's owned different. by I think Paramount or something. Oh, word, word, word. Yeah, that's yeah. not okay. Yeah, oh, Disney's yeah, fucking yeah, sick. Oh uh, yeah, we drove back home and just been kicking it since. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Fuck. Uh, bro, we had some fucking times. Bro, if we if both of us vlogged our experiences, it'd be a lot of fucking content. But like you know what I mean though? Like when you're actually like there, like like you're looking like you're not ah, oh, like I don't know, bro. Like it's tricky. Like I feel like I would need like a camera a person. A camera person to just follow. And, like, bro, telling me, like, yeah, log this, like, log that. There was a lot going on, bro. Like, especially, in, like, I remember Mexico was, like, it was nonstop some fucking, some, something happening. You'd, like, dis, disbark and, like, fucking walk in. Like, they have, like, their, their what, what's the word, sh 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 shamans? The shamans blowing shit. People in cultural clothes. Like, it was, it was fucking sick. Yeah. It was sick. I really wish we could have filmed everything properly. The worst part was I did bring a vlog camera. Every time I go on vacation with my wife, we vlog it. Just, we don't even post it just to, like, look back on We edit it nice and stuff. But this time, I had a waterproof case on. But I don't know what the fuck happened if, like, the seal broke or something. But I'm underwater fucking taking videos and shit, and it turns off. And then, like, I'm like, oh, whatever, maybe it's dead. Then I'm, like, kind of, like, leaning it over, and I just see a pool of water inside the case. Like, fucking great. <laughs> it's so weird, though. It's, like, it's broken yet not broken at the same time. Like, it powers up, then it turns off. It won't read the SD card anymore. Damn. Where are you getting repaired? Probably. Warranty or something? Might have, nah, it's too old for warranty. Yeah. Might have water damage or something. But regardless, I'm going to get a new camera anyways. It's fucked, yeah. But no, that's, that's fucking like, phenomenal. Also, like, we, we came back and now we have two 4K cameras, like we already yeah. said. Fucking, I have to get another computer. And, bro, we just, I think one thing, I, I think you probably felt like this too, is like, I came back and I was like, yo, like, there's so much of the world to conquer. Oh, and there's sure. so much more to do. Oh, for sure. And I'm just like, bro, like, I'm ready to just go harder. Yeah, for real. Like, Fucking, we're gonna try and ramp this up to three podcasts a week. Yeah, I'm gonna do like at least a YouTube video, probably two a week. Just film, just film, film, just grinding out, bro. Cause it's nuts. Like, I feel like you had more of like a like we had very different, two different vibes. Like yours was more so like, like a vacation. And yeah, yours like exploring. And my, yeah, so like it was a bit different. But I think, bro, after being recognized in London and seeing that like there was an event that I went to with three thousand people and like all 3,000 people did not know me. So it's like, how do I go there next time and, like, more people know me? Yeah. And, like, even here, like, Toronto's, like, like we said, it's small, and, like, we get recognized here. It's not, a, it's not like, a big thing, but, like, there are still a lot of places where we can go to in Toronto where, like, no one knows who for we sure, are. For sure, for sure. So it's, like, just getting to reach out there, and, bro, That's like, we're crazy. the number one podcast in Toronto. Like, it's crazy. It's fucked. It's crazy. Like, fuck. Bro, a lot of big things coming for the Seeking Success podcast, guys. So yeah. stay tuned. If there's someone you specifically want us to interview in the city. If you're still watching this, by the way, shout yeah, out to you. Uh, shout out to you. Comment down below because uh, obviously we're about to take over. Like Riti said, we might ramp up to three podcasts a week. Con's about to be fire. Yeah. Damn, that was a voice crack. Was it? I heard that. Yeah. Fuck. You got to be coming late. Sucking too much dick out there in Mexico. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Crazy. Well, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, fucking. Until next time, I guess. Stay seeking success. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs>